All right guys, so we're gonna be moving on to our final two steps here, which is charging and seating our bullets. Uh, we're gonna be using IMR 4350 for our powder, and we are using a Lyman um, powder dispenser. It's an electric powder dispenser. I'll show you how this works in a minute. Um, so basically, we know that uh, we already, we've already done our load development, and what we did was a OCW, um, optimum charge weight load development. So other option is a ladder test, but we did a OCW. And for more information on an OCW, uh, I'll probably make a, another video about that, or you could check out some other other links that I'll put in the description below for how to do an OCW. Basically, we know that our most accurate groups were quarter inch at 100 yards. That's a quarter MLA group, and we're using 40.4 grains of IMR 4350. As far as I know, unless something's changed recently, uh, the 140 grain AMAX low data in Hornady's reloading manual uh, is still the same for the Hornady new ELD match 140 grain bullets. And from what Hornady says, the only difference is they have a new higher heat resistant polymer tip. So the load data should be exactly the same. So we're using, and again, guys, remember we want to load a little bit hot for these cartridges so we could get out there, get our velocities up and get out there past a thousand yards. So the difference between loading for ex extreme accuracy at a hundred yards, getting our groups as tight as possible. This is a different type of load that we're trying to develop here specifically for long range. IMR 4350. We're trying to get up there. So we're right under the maximum charge weight, 2,650 feet per second. Okay, so the way that this works is we're gonna punch in how many grains we wanna dispense. So in this case, 40.5 and hit auto repeat, hit enter. It's gonna start dispensing our powder. Should stop at 40.5, I think the tolerance is within 2.2. .2. So we're at 40.6, that's okay for our tolerance. And we're gonna use our uh, Lee powder funnel and we're gonna charge our cartridge. And then we're gonna replace the, place the uh, pan back on the scale and it will automatically pour next charge. Okay, so that poured exactly 40.5. And we're just gonna continue to do this for all of our cases. Now usually I would actually have my I would actually be seating bullets as I pour, so I would pour and seat a bullet while this uh, uh, powder dispenser dispenses the next charge. But for filming purposes, it's a little too hard to set up the camera to get both. dispensing and seating at the same time. So we're just gonna do all of these and then we'll move on to seating. Okay, so that threw an error. It's a little too much, toss that one. Let it pour a new charge. 